A lot of patients come in asking what is a mini facelift and they are justifiably confused by what it is because the definition varies so much. Getting a mini facelift or searching for one is kind of like going into a store kind of blindfolded and then asking the person you want to buy a sculpture and they ask you what kind of sculpture and you say well I kind of want to buy a small sculpture. You don't know if you're going into a store that sells only big sculptures, tiny sculptures, mini sculptures, medium sized sculptures. It could be someone who forms any kind of sculpture and what they tell you is mini is very different than the guy down the street. That's exactly how it works in the world of facial plastic surgery and facelifts that every doctor has their own definition of what a facelift is, how they do it and what a miniature version of that facelift is. A mini facelift in my practice is an extensive deep plane lift done only on the lower jawline and neck. I don't really it ha uh, attack the cheek. In someone else's practice, that's their entire maximum facelift is a lower facelift. So when looking for a mini facelift, the only real way to know what you're getting with the word mini is to look at photos. The thing to know for certain is that a mini facelift does not mean that you're going to look more natural. It does not mean that you're avoiding problems and it certainly does not mean that you're avoiding scars. There is a joke among surgeons that say mini facelift, mini results, maximum scars. This happens because some doctors go in, try to do very, very little at the behest of the patient to get very small changes in the face, not too much, but they're not releasing much. So there's a lot of tension there at the incision lines. What happens when you have a lot of tension? The face pulls right back down against that tension and where the tension was, a scar will form. So I advise people to be very cautious when searching for a mini facelift and don't be fooled into thinking that a mini facelift will cause you any less problems. You should ask the, dif the difference from the doctor specifically. What do you think the difference is between your mini facelift and your regular lift? What are the benefits? What are the differences? That's the only way you're going to get the real answer that you need.